السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آن بہاف آف مرکز صحابہ دا وائس آف اہل السنا و جماعہ وی پریزینٹ ٹو یو لیسن نمبر ون تھاؤزن ٹو ہنڈریڈ اینڈ فائیو آف آور ڈیلی نصیحہ اینڈ ایڈوائس الحمد للہ دس از پارٹ نمبر ہنڈریڈ اینڈ الیون آف آور سیریز آن دا ورچوز آف دا نوبل قرآن Today, with the grace and mercy of all, Mahdi Allah Jalla Wala, we focus on Surah Al-Feel, the elephants, and chapter number 105. This incident took place approximately 50-55 days before the Honorable Milad Mubarak and birth of the Master Habibuna Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We, the Ahlu Sunnah Wal Jamaah, call this Irahas, I-R-H-A-S, which means that extraordinary events takes place before the honorable birth of Mustafa Habibuna sallallahu alayhi sallam. There was a person from Yemen, Abraha, and this is in the year 570. We find that he was burning with rage and jealousy. Why are the people going to the Baytullah, the Kaaba Musharrafa? And Allah forbid, Allah forbid, he said, he will come with his huge, huge elephants, and Allah forbid destroy the Baytullah and Kaaba Musharrafa. Hence he brought the elephants and came right till the outskirts of Makkah, the area between Mina and Muzdalifa. Even today, if you look at the boards carefully, you will see there is a small area there which there is no, it's like no man's land in between Mina Muzdalifa, Wadi Muhassar. They came right till there and all met Allah sent the birds and they cast the stones and this is how they destroyed and made them perish and humiliated and disgraced them and that is how Abraha and his elephants were destroyed and the Baytullah, the Kaaba Musharrafa was preserved. All met Allah Jalla Wala states Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of all met Allah Allah who is the very very gracious the very very merciful and thereafter all met Allah addressing Mustafa sallallahu alayhi sallam to highlight to the master Habibuna sallallahu alayhi sallam what happened qabla al-Milad al-Mubarak before the honor of birth alam tara have you done not seen, meaning do you not know, كَيْفَ فَعَلَ رَبُّكَ بِأَصْحَابِ الْفِيلِ How all Mahdi Allah Jalla Wala, your sustainer, Narisha dealt with those who are the owners and the companions of the elephant, Abraha and his cronies. أَلَمْ يَجْأَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلِ What did all Mahdi Allah not cause? They are plotting, planning to go in confusion, in disarray, and go astray. So they thought they are going to destroy the Baytullah, but in the process they destroyed themselves this is the system of all Mahdi Allah many a time people think they are going to destroy the truth wa makaru wa makar Allah they are plotting planning against the people of truth and all Mahdi Allah has his master plan and they get humiliated and disgrace wa la yahiku al makru sayyu illa bi ahli when people are plotting evil then it falls upon them and the truth will always prevail and all Mahdi Allah will always give the people of truth the izzat and honor and the people on batil and falsehood zillat and disgrace now all Mahdi Allah allowed them to come from Yemen right up to between Mina and Muzdalifa وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلٍ And all Mahdi Allah sent the birds, the Ababil, small in, in size, but big in impact and great in impact. And this is the miracle, Irahas, and before the Mubarak birth of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, تَرْمِيهِمْ بِحِجَارَةٍ مِنْ سِجِيلٍ So they threw and cast upon them the stones made of the brimstones and remember that they would hit their target big, big, huge, huge elephants but remember they were falling, collapsing and all this happened 
فَجَعَلَهُمْ كَأَصْفٍ مَعْكُولٍ And Almighty Allah rendered them like straw that was eaten up. So it shows Almighty Allah decimated, humiliated them and protected the Baytullah, the Kaaba Musharrafa. May Almighty Allah protect my, the Haramain Sharifain and Majlul Aqsa and all our masajid throughout the world. Barakallahu feek. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.